What's going on guys? This is the Red Rogue and I hope you're all doing well today. This is just a really quick trick that I figured I'd share with you folks. I recently put up a couple videos talking about the introductory quest chain to the Forbidden Reach and the new Zascara Vaults. While the main reason to go into the Zascara Vaults is for the Onyx Annulet, which has already seen tuning prior to the patch even going live, I wanted to cover some videos about how you can kind of min-max this new system a little. Farming Vault Keys is a bit repetitive, since it basically involves just killing a ton of new rares on the Forbidden Reach, or getting lucky with special events and stuff like that. However, if you only really care about getting the vault open quickly on your main character, if you have one, then I realize there is an easy way to get some keys very quickly. This is a bit degenerate, but if you have a bunch of level 70 alts and just want to pump up one specific character, then this will do you a treat, or whatever the saying is. Basically, you can just do the intro quest chain to the Forbidden Reach, which takes like 5 minutes. I covered this in the intro video I did just earlier today, but you're looking for the quest Helping Hand and Claw, which becomes available after you do 3 quests from Scale Commander Viridia that she gives you on the Forbidden Reach, in Morkut Village. This quest is required to open the Zascara Vault, which will come right after in the quest chain. The opening of the vault automatically gives you 6 keys to each character that does it, and these keys are account wide. So basically, you can see where I'm getting out with this. All you gotta do is do the intro, grab the keys, and then mail them to your main. Especially early on, and if you just really don't care about your other characters, then this makes it so you can basically open your entire week of vault stuff in virtually no time flat and with minimal effort. Naturally, if you don't have other level 70s, then this won't really help you, but it gives you a bit of an excuse to maybe finish leveling someone up to 70 if you've been putting it off, I guess. This does kinda sorta brick your other characters for a little bit, since to unlock the ability to unsocket gems and to crush gems for the Onyx Amulet, you do need keys to open doors to find certain items from a quest chain. But if you don't really care about those other characters, then it's not a big deal, and once that other character you're working on is done, then you can just use them to farm keys and send them to your alts, because you can kill rares every day for keys. Anyways, yeah, I figured I'd share this little trick with folks who might not have thought of it. And if you do have multiple level 70s that are pretty geared and can kill rares easy enough, then you can also farm each of the rares once per day per character on the Forbidden Reach for even more keys. So if you really just want to go crazy and funnel everything to one character, then you can totally do it. Thank you all so much for watching, this is the Red Rogue, and I'll see you guys around.